Hi, which is a bliss of me. This is Way Raven over here. Today's Monday, so happy Magic Monday to all of you guys. Very happy to be here today. I have a great spell for you today. It's a curse, and it was a request by one of you. And I know I made you wait a long time because you sent me this request probably a couple of months ago, but been really busy. Thank you so much for all of you guys uh, that waited for me last week. I was very sick. I had a really bad sore throat last week and I tried, but I couldn't, which is I was not feeling very well. Thank you so much for your beautiful messages of love to all of you guys that send me messages. I really appreciate that from the bottom of my heart. If you've been following me in Instagram and in Facebook, you know that as of today, I am no longer in Instagram. And I want to share a little bit with you the reason why I'm not in Instagram. Number one, because I did not have a lot of movement in that page and it's a little bit of my fault. I didn't put that same attention that I put into my Facebook page onto that page. I'm not a big fan of Instagram as it is, but about three weeks ago, I almost got scammed by one person that was luring me for a long time, pretending to be one of you guys and asking me for help. And I was very, very, very close to be scammed by this person. And you will think, well, by Raven, you should know better than that. Listen, we all think we know better than that. But when I think it's one of you guys, things actually change. I worry about you guys. Your well-being actually sometimes does not let me sleep at night. And when you guys ask me for a favor or when you guys tried for me to help you in, in different type of ways, I can fall. So because of that, I am out of Instagram. I am no longer in Instagram. I'm just going to dedicate myself to this YouTube channel and Facebook. And Having said that, I hope you guys understand that from now on, I cannot open any links that you send me in any way, shape or form. If you're sending me a video that you saw that you thought it was very interesting, if you're sending me a link of, for an article that you thought you read, I want to apologize, but I am not going to be able to open any links ever from any of you guys and i hope you guys understand links are how scammers wiggle themselves into systems and into your stuff so i want to say i'm really sorry but i'm not going to be able to open any links from you guys however i'm going to be in facebook i'm going to put a lot more attention to facebook now so my only platform other than youtube is going to be my facebook white raven and witches lair also, you have my beautiful website that I love so much, whyravenarmwitcheslayer.com. Thank you so much for all of you guys that have been supporting me in there. Uh, and also my email, layerofthewitch@yahoo.com. And remember that I do not work for people, nor I do any type of counseling in magic. My email is for magical questions and for suggestions. You guys, most of the videos that I share here with you are your own suggestions. And obviously because I did not talk to you guys last week, I'm a little bit chatty today. And the last favor that I'm gonna ask is, if you have the time, please make sure to watch the video that we shared two weeks ago about poisonous plants in witchcraft. It was a video that did not move too much. It did not have a lot of track in a YouTube planet. So if you want to do me a favor, a big favor, please make sure to go and watch that video. If you have, please share it, do some comments, thumbs up. It's a video that took a lot of research and a lot of reading different type of books. And it makes me really sad that um, it doesn't even have a thousand views. It's a very interesting topic. It's about poisonous plants in witchcraft. And it's something that we all should know about if we are dedicating our lives to practice this beautiful craft. Uh, the craft of the witch. Today we have a really good curse and it's necessary and I'm pretty sure many of you guys are going to have a very good reason to use this hex and I'm going to share it with you today. Every time I talk to you about doing curses, which is, I always tell you to think and bring out your justified anger. Now I want to be very clear that when I say justify anger, I am not talking about hatred. Hatred is one thing. Justify anger is another. When we utilize our justify anger, we really analyzing the way in which that evildoer hurt us. Why that person was acting unjustifiably. Why the actions of that evildoer were pure and simple 
evil. When we work our spells and our curses based on hatred, hatred has very bad consequences because when you are acting with hatred, we're acting in the heat of the moment, we're acting for the wrong, very wrong reasons. And what happens is, which is, and hear me out, when you act with hatred, when you perform a spell with hatred instead of justify anger, you open doors and you may call upon you things that are not very nice. So before you do a curse, make sure that you have a cool head and make sure you have analyzed all the outcome of the curse that you're going to do and make sure, most importantly, that you are justified. Today I'm going to share with you a curse to create misfortune to somebody else's business. How many of us have been in the situation in which you go to a store, you purchase something, whatever you purchase is completely defective and then they don't let you return it? Or how many times you have a business that is doing really evil to your community? How many other times you have a business that are scamming people? How many times? There's so many reasons why we would like to create misfortune and eventually close down that business. Now, make sure that you're not doing the spell because that store is your competition and you want to close it down because you want to be the only one doing whatever it is that you do because you may close that one down but another one much worse may come in their place. So just make sure that you're doing this for a justified reason. For this spell, we're going to need a very few things which is, and it's a very nasty hex, it works really good. Just make sure that you are justified. Okay, which is, so let me share with you the things that we're going to be needing for this curse. Number one, and the most important thing, you need a tag look from the store that you want to curse. So you're going to need at least a business card of the store, a receipt from the store, something that is directly linked to the store or the business that you want to create. Misfortune. Listen, and when I say business, it could also be an office that actually charge money for, for things. It could be anything, which is anything that pertains to a business type of contract, interaction, any type of business. You're going to need a link for it. So I'm going to give you, for example, a business card. Okay. Another thing that you're going to need that is extremely important, we're going to be using the representation of the Five of Pentacle. Create a copy of the card Five of Pentacle. I particularly like this one, the Rider Way Tarot, Five of Pentacle. You know, sometimes it's good to have cheap tarot decks. A lot of people ask, hey, is it good to buy Timu tarot decks? Wish tarot deck? Those cheap fake tarot decks? Listen, for these type of things, you should buy some of those tarot decks because you can use the cards to work your magic, but you don't need the five of pentacle for this, okay? Another thing that you're going to need, which is, and when I tell you that you have to be extremely mindful when you're using this, it's going to be good for dust. This one, of course, is from my website. You guys know my website, whiteravenandwitcheslayer.com. I even have a blog on this powder because... It's serious stuff, which is so whenever you work with gopher dust, make sure that you know what you're doing. You're also going to need some misfortune oil. This one is also in my website. You are going to need milk for this, which is. You are going to need a lime or a lemon. You're going to need a handy dandy black candle. You're definitely going to need a jar with a lid. So in this particular case, this is a baby food jar. So you want one and you want to make sure that you have enough room for the things that we're going to put inside, particularly the business card or whatever is the tag look that you have from the store or the business. And you want to have the little lid. Last which is you're going to need a mirror shards. And this is a mirror that you broke in the name of the person that you're cursing. If you do not have goofer dust and you live in a place in which you cannot get goofer dust, you can use salt. If you, for whatever reason, don't have milk or lime or lemon at home and you need to do this right away, I suggest for you to stick with the milk and the lemon. But if you don't have it, you can also use vinegar. 
And those are some substitute for the gopher dust and for the milk and the lemon, which is, it is up to you. This is your magic. You do with it whatever you want. The outcome is going to be yours, not mine. I am sharing with you a spell that I have done successfully. It's up to you, however it is that you want to do it. Without further ado, let's get into the spell. Okay, witches, so this spell is for you to perform on a Saturday at the hour of Saturn if you like to use the planetary hours. It is also best if you do this when the moon is wanting, meaning when the moon is getting smaller. Please make sure that if you want this to be really successful, take all those things into consideration. Then again, I always tell you that you do what you have to do whenever you have to do it whenever you feel like doing it and that's going to be the best time for do the spell so the first thing that we are going to do which is we are going to put the mirror shards inside of this glass bottle okay now which is you're supposed to break this mirror in the name of the person that you are hexing when i go to the dollar stores i always buy mirrors and they're like this i break them because i use them a lot so whenever you go to the dollar store make sure that you have some mirrors at home because they become extremely handy when you are cursing people when you're putting people in boxes for protection mirrors are great source of magic so just make sure you always have one or two at home that you can use the way i broke that glass i put it inside this butcher's paper i wrap it i put it in my mortar and i went poof and that's all it took so we are going to inflict upon these people the bad luck of the broken mirror now we're going to have the five of pentacle card in the bag you can put your intentions for this business if it's just one particular person and again which is this could be anything that pertains to money transaction some type of agreement between you and another person so this not necessarily have to be a store this could be somebody that you're paying somebody that is building something in your house and they did not commit to their part um, it could be a doctor it could be a lawyer it could be somebody that is selling your home it could be anybody or it can be John Doe in the store that sold you their bad potato it does not matter this is for any type of business okay the most important thing is that you have that tab log so just make sure that you put it here whatever it is that you want if you want to put seven years of bad luck because of the mirror then that's why you do that's why you put seven years of bad luck if on the other hand you want this business to close then you put i curse your business and from now on only misfortune your business will know Okay, we're going to put that inside our jar. The next thing that we're going to put inside the jar is going to be the business card. So you can just fold the business card. If it doesn't fit, if it fits great, you can put and you can make a big jar. It doesn't have to be this one. Now you have those three elements inside your bottle. The tag log, which is the card, your tarot card with your petition, with your command. And you also have those bad luck shards. Those mirror shards are going to add bad luck to this business. Now, really important, which is we are going to add now our milk. This is going to be like a sour jar. So the reason why you want to use a lemon is because a lemon is going to cut the milk. Now, now that you have the milk, just put all that in your bottle. We're going to put just a little bit of gopher dust. really bad intentions in here which is cover it up give it a little shake and here's your hex which we're going to be souring and creating misfortune maybe bankruptcy maybe complete closure maybe a lot of bad luck to the store to this business 
to this office, whatever it is. The next thing that we're going to do, which is very important, you're gonna grab your misfortune oil and we are going to anoint the candle. Again, which is, this is a Saturday night at the time of Saturn, the hour of Saturn, you're going to anoint your candle. And while you are anointing this candle, which is you are thinking of what you are doing and what you want to happen. You are visualizing this already done. This is really good oil, which is, we all should have this type of oils at home. You never know when you may need it, you know? All right, which is, like your candle and a focus witch. Chant your curse. Name it so and so. I curse you with the power that comes before me and the power within me. I call the four elements earth, air, water, and fire to assist me cursing so and so i curse you with seven years of bad luck so on and so forth whatever it is that you want to happen to this business this is what you are going to chant over here if you want to use a psalm of the bible that that's what you're going to use if you have a specific prayer then that's what you're going to use you don't have to say what i say just make sure which is that this is completely consume once this scandal is consumed and you have all the wax in the bottle listen up you have to put this somewhere around the business if you're able to go inside just drop it in the corner drop it in the corner let's say you cannot do that let's say this is a business online you don't have any way shape or form to get to this place make sure that you bury this and you let it be which is we curse for so many different reasons. Sometimes we're justified and sometimes we're not. If we're going to be working against the ability of somebody making money so they can sustain their lives, make sure that you have nothing to hide. Make sure that you're not throwing rocks when you have a glass of roof. So what I'm trying to say is be justified, which is, and make sure that you are not acting with hatred. Make sure that you are being completely intelligent and smart when you're doing these curses. And that's it. I hope you enjoy this curse. I hope it serves you well, which is, I hope it reached the person that requested this spell. And I hope you get some justified vengeance for the pain or the evilness inflicted upon you. Thank you so much for being here one more time, one more Monday. Remember to watch my video from two weeks ago. And remember that I am in Facebook. You can also email me at layerofthewitchayahoo.com. And if you are interested in any of the products that I speak about in this video, remember to visit my website, whyravenandwitcheslayer.com, which is, I have a lot of awesome stuff in there for your magic. And I put a lot of thought in the things that I make and a lot of wickedness in the things that need a lot of wickedness. Which is, you must stay so very smart. You must study. You must make sure that you acquire knowledge all the time. But with all that knowledge, don't be an armchair witch, which is, be smart. But know how to use all that intelligence. And that's how you stay, which is very, very wicked. Sharp, sharp and wicked. See you Monday. Bye.